Head-up displays, HUDs, are on several high-end biz jets, but now they're available to piston singles, turboprops, and light jets, thanks to MyGo Flight's Sky Display HUD. It's a retrofit unit with a compact display screen. It shows all the information those half-million-dollar HUDs show and can be used during visual and instrument flights as supplemental flight information. We met up at Denver's Centennial Airport to fly the new HUD in my go flights Cirrus. Taxiing out, you can quickly see the HUD's value. Every bit of information you need is right in your visual field, along with the view ahead. There's plenty of information, including V-speeds, the upcoming fix, plus course guidance, altitude, heading, wind speed, vertical speed information, and a pitch ladder. The V-shaped symbol represents the nose attitude. During the takeoff run, you'll see the magenta flight director cue and green flight path marker pop into view on the attitude indicator. Liftoff comes at 70 knots on the airspeed tape, so maneuver the flight director cue into the flight path marker and you'll be on course. Or put the jelly, the purple cue, into the donut, the green flight path marker. It's that easy to stay precisely on course. Now we level off at 7,500 feet. The flight path marker can also give commands to show the pre-selected altitude. Notice that the lower left portion of the display is changed to show fuel flow, manifold pressure, and ground speed. The marker is great for holding altitude in steep turns. Just keep the marker over the queue and you won't lose or gain altitude. On instrument approaches, the enunciator at top left shows when the nav information is coupled and CDI and glide slope information comes alive. Now for an RNAV GPS approach to runway 17 left. The glide slope is captured, and you'll notice that the display declutters, swapping out the HSI arc display for a CDI scale. Down we go, following the magenta cues commands until the 6,023 foot MDA. At this point, we'd be able to see the approach lights or the runway environment while still having an efficient instrument scan. Then it's a missed approach, followed by a landing. You still have to use outside references to precisely fly to the touchdown zone, but precise course guidance is always at the ready. You can see that the HUD is easy to interpret and intuitive to use. And as an adjunct source of guidance, every bit as useful as the HUDs on Falcons or Gulf Streams. My GoFlight is selling the Sky Display for $25,000. So far, 19 owner pilots have signed up for it. If other high-tech developments like envelope protection, emergency descent mode, and auto land are any indication, it's a safe bet that My GoFlight has set the stage for more HUDs in light GA airplanes in the very near future. Tom Horn, AOPA Live.